we closed in on the 2011 year and head towards 2012, one must ask, is this the year of the animation? Have animation finally, after years and years of setbacks, and after years and years of Walt Disney dominating the market, have studios now decided to put animation in the forefront of our entertainment. The reason why I'm saying this is because this year alone I have seen more animation releases than any other year I have seen growing up. In the 80s animation was a dime a dozen. Disney pretty much moved away from the animation department for a while at least to 1988 until they um, finally started to you know, resurface as the dominant force in animation. Um, not many studios was releasing many um, films for animation, and the, those who have um, released animated movies uh, was pretty much mediocre to bad and pretty much failed at the box office. The only films that really have surpassed anyone's expectation, who have lived up to expectations were uh, the Care Bears trilogy, which actually were surprisingly a huge hit at the time. Um, we also had um, John Blues' his, um, animation movies known as The Secret of Niff, American Tales, um, Land Before Time, and All Dogs Go to Heaven, all huge hits in the 80s. And of course we had um, Disney's, you know, Little Mermaids, um, Oliver and Company, um, which was also a hit during that time. But there were films, and there were a lot of them, um, that wasn't so lucky. Transformers being one of them, which is my personal favorite film out of the 80s animation. Um, we had um, Rainbow Bright, which actually had a sequel at one point. Was pretty much mediocre to bad at best. Um, we also had um, The Pound Puppies, and we also had films such as Tom and Jerry, um, the movies. And Goldbots also had, uh, had a film out during that time as well. Um, but during that course, even to, to the 90s, animation always had a hard time you know, taking that next big level. And I think largely because of animation just being geared towards one specific group of people, namely children. Um, that, of course, has changed over the last, um, last eight years where films are now largely or be, you know, promoted towards both, you know, children and adults, and these are considered family animated films, uh, which is a big difference towards just the typical kids animation films. Um, in this year, we've seen a lot of films that have come out during the early and mid part of 2011, um, Mar Mom Mars, um, Ringo, um, we had Hop, which was a live animation. We had um, also a couple other live animations, um, Smurfs. Um, we also had um, Rio. Uh, we had Winnie the Pooh, which to me is probably one of the best animation films that came out this year. Um, we had Puss in Boots. Um, we also had um, Cars 2. We had a very, very strong animation this, um, um, that coming out, and we're still not done. We still have other animations that are yet to be released. We had Owl and the Chipmunks. 10, 10, um, um, 10, 10, I think I'm saying that right, hopefully. Uh, we have, um, we have other films that is in development, like Monsters, Inc. 2, which is due to be released sometime next year. Um, and, you know, we have pretty much, uh, a pretty much a good lineup of family films, um, that are not animation, but pretty much like, you know, old style, uh, puppetry, like the Muppets, um, they're also, uh, are scheduled to be released this Thanksgiving. Um, so these movies have really have resurfaced. I mean, the average animation I can remember were average one film every six months, two films if you're lucky. Um, and out of those two, those two films, not counting Disney, because Disney pretty much was a guaranteed hit at the time. Um, only one would have probably, as independent base, had uh, had any slight chance of um, becoming a huge success. One of the films that I actually enjoyed very much was um, was The Swan Princess. Uh, I thought that was 
a magnificent film, but it failed at the box office, and largely because a lot of people keep telling me, oh, they're trying to be like Disney. Well, that was the point. It wasn't trying to be like Disney. In fact, it pretty much paid homage to Disney because it actually had that feel. In fact, I go back and say that if that film was a Disney movie, that movie probably would have been a huge success. Um, I'm not saying the sequels were any good. I actually was very disappointed with Swan Princess 2, and I never saw the third one. Um, but yeah, it's animation um, in terms of mainstream has uh, become stronger and stronger. And I'm hoping, like, hopefully, um, that it does be um, part of that new main competition that we, uh, that it has become pretty much ignored for all these years. Now, unfortunately, there is going to be some setbacks. One, Animation is expensive. I mean, the average cost to make an animation movie is around a hundred million dollars. Um, it doesn't. T it takes a long time to make. Sometimes the average two to three years to get a movie, get an animation film done. So that's one of the setbacks. And two, and I'm hoping that the studios will pay attention to this because um, this is the one thing I'm very, very um, upset about is the 3D. I hope we see less of that in these animations because like I said uh, most parents don't see animation unless they're bringing their kids along um, it's made to be enjoyed with the family it's gonna be kinda hard for a film especially a film that doesn't have expectation they're gonna really have low expectation if it's being released in 3D because 3D in some in many cities are just too damn expensive and it hurt Disney's Mom Meets Mars badly um, forget about the bad title, but it really did hurt them um, because to me they underestimated the um, the um, the families um, that was going to this movie, and in terms um, they actually lost a whole lot more, a whole lot of money. Where if they would have done a two D film, I think it would have done better in the box office because many people, more people, who would have able to afford to go see it. So I think the, um, that's also going to play a part. Another thing that's going to play a part is and. Maybe people going to be agree or disagree, but another thing I'm thinking is going to be play a big part is Disney. Um, Disney, you know, this year came out with a lot of mo animations. This year they came out with three, um, which is f pretty much rare for Disney standards. Disney really, really comes out with three animations back to back to back like that. I think last year they came out with a couple. They came out with Tango. Um, and they came up with Toy Story 2, but this year they came out with um, Cars 2, they came out with Mom Meets Mars, and they came out with uh, with Winnie the Pooh, and surprisingly Winnie the Pooh out of all three was the was the best film out of all three of them. Um, Cars did not have a very good reception, it was very, very mixed. Um, not many people thought that Mom, Mom Meets Mars was a good story. Um, the animation was good, but the 3D, uh, uh, what can I tell you? It's not, it's, it's 3D, is a gimmick. Um, but Winnie the Pooh, that wasn't in 3D, um, that had an old-fashioned story to tell, um, really um, stunned a lot of people. Um, and that was actually more geared towards a younger crowd, but adults actually loved that film as well. So that's just tell the show. Um, if you bring a good story, you don't need to have 3D and you know, all over, all over the place. Just give a good story that everybody can enjoy and relate to, and I think you'd be just fine. Um, and that's the thing about animation. I think that's the last thing. Um, animation in terms of story um, and how they will uh, work together. Um, and that's again, this is where Disney is going to come in. Um, a lot of people have pretty much put Disney under the bus because. Pixar, during the Pixar era, they, they were really making all the great animation in Disney. Pretty much, I wouldn't say put a sidestep, they, they basically kept themselves busy with the with the video boom they had in the last 10 years. But many people are wondering, will Disney try and reclaim a crown, which, by the way, I don't think they ever lost. But will try and say, hey, we're still the big um, top dogs in this. We still can make great animation. And I think, to most credit, in the last few years, with the exception of probably Cars and, uh, and Mom Meets Mars, they still can make great animation. I think Tango was a very underrated film that should have gotten more credit than it deserves. Um, I think The Princess and the Swallow was a very good film. I don't know why people thought this was a... Um, a uh, a offensive film. I thought this film was very, very good. Um, but again, um, you know, despite all those little problems, 
I think that Disney um, can still become a, a, a force to be reckoned with in the animation. And you know what? I actually want them to be a part of this new animation boom that's coming out. Um, I would love to see what Disney has next in store. Um, don't just let Pixar be, have all the fun. Um, I want to see what Disney is going to do in the animation department. I mean, very, very rare. I mean, Disney comes out with a packed film in theaters. I mean, it's very, very rare to say, to say the least. Um, I know there's a lot of films out there that they didn't do too great or didn't meet expectation. But I thought Mulan was good. I thought um, um, Atlanta was okay. It wasn't great, but it was okay. Um, for the most part, I thought um, some of the animations uh, hit the nail. I mean, it, granted, it's not nowhere near of, of the Lion Kings and the Beauty and the Beast in the world, but I thought they had come out with some great films. Um, the only true film I had a real big beef with um, was Tarzan. I thought Tarzan was horrible. I didn't particularly care for Tarzan too much, uh, but that's uh, just my opinion, of course. Um, but yeah, um, back to the subject. Um, do I believe strongly? Do you believe strongly that animation in the next few years will be a very force? You're going to see more animation done. There's already talk about a new studio an independent studio no less that's going to be dedicated just to animation um, and I'm kind of curious on what their first movie is going to be um, Disney um, of course is going to be pushing forward for other animation including um, superheroes to be animated so that's going to be very interesting to see how they work on that and I'm also curious if Works is going to step up the game um, in terms of bringing more animation, because they had done pretty good with the animation. Puss and Boots was actually a good installment. They actually still hold the um, the crown with uh, with the first Shrek movie. Um, Ice Age one is good, but can they get better? Can they improve themselves in the animation department? Um, so um, those are the things I'm looking forward to. Those are the things I'm looking I'm looking to see how they do. And this is the time to do it. I mean, technology is definitely have changed. Technology um, definitely warrants them. To, to bring um, family films and animation film back on the forefront and finally give them the recognition it truly deserves. And I think film like Toy Story, um, Monsters Inc., Streck, um, and even the um, computer m movies um, that comes to mind, Titan AE, I actually think also, uh, pumped, uh, also deserve that credit for as well, um, have made, have paved the way for new films and new creative ideas in the animation department to be um, to be explored, but it really all is up to the industry itself. Can it, you know, can they make that next step? So I am curious in how that um, how that plays out. What do you guys think about that? Do you think animation can make that can finally become um, a forefront? Can they probably uh, be taken more seriously than it was um, 20 years ago? Um, please give me a comment. So leave it below. Let me know. Till then. J77 saying take care.